Want to know all there is to know about this pretty cool app? Stick around. Hi guys, and welcome to Team GB. Today we're going to take a look at the AI Photo app from Asus Tor, or Asus Tor, however you want to say it. Uh, and if you don't know who uh, Asus Tor is, they make um, network attached storage devices, um, such as the ones that we've covered here and here. So hopefully you'll be able to check out these videos, and then you'll be able to, you know, uh, be a little bit more informed. Anyway, they make some awesome NAS um, devices, and uh, this is basically one of the apps that goes along with the NAS, um, or one of the NASes. Uh, basically acts as a camera roll, backs up all your photos onto the onto whatever NAS you have, um, and it's actually pretty good. Um, it's very similar to sort of the Dropbox camera roll or uh, the iCloud anyway. Um, but if you have one of the NASes and you want to back up all your photos, and you know, for perhaps you use an iPad to then. Um, you know, back up your photos off your SD cards or something instead of plugging them into a PC, um, then this works perfectly. It allows you to upload via Wi Fi. You can also download um, pictures, create albums, um, and do lots of other things as well. So, we're going to take a more in depth look at the app in just a moment, um, so stick around for that. So the app itself is very nicely designed, all you have to do is click on for example one of the albums such as camera roll and see your photos, swipe through them very easily um, and you know if you tap on them you come up with a little timeline at the bottom so you can scroll through all the images and select them. Um, there's some stuff at the top including a share and a back button, um, you can rotate the image uh, any number of ways, um, download the image to the device, delete it or find out some information, copy it or move it around. Um, it's very nice, you can scroll through all your photos but if you want to connect to an ask what you do is hit the top there and you'd hit sign in you then use either the cloud ID or your um, you know local IP um, to connect as you can see you can attach social media accounts and also only upload via Wi-Fi or via your 3G connection which is pretty cool another thing is that you can take selfies with this and add them to your NAS as I am here um, so yeah that's that's pretty cool as well um, you can search online or create new albums, also download or uh, see what's downloading or uploading um, and then also share albums and whatnot. You can also edit the albums that you have on the app itself. Anyway, if you're a sort of photo user then this is definitely something for you, although there is something to note um, and that is that this is a uh, iPhone app not designed for Android. Um, yet, and it's also uh, not designed for iPad yet either, so um, if you're an iPhone user this is perfect, if you're an anything else user this may not be just quite great yet. Anyway, um, we're going to wrap up in just a sec, so uh, yeah, stick around. Anyway, I hope you like this video, um, if you want to know anything more about the app itself then uh, leave that in the comments down below and we'll try and answer that for you. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike this video, hit the dislike button. Leave a comment and let us know what you thought of the new image quality with my awesome new camera that I really love, or just the general um, video or the app. Just anything you want to know, um, leave it down below. Um, and the question of the video is, if you had a uh, NAS, would you use this app, or would you use something like Dropbox, Google Drive, or iCloud? Um, let us know in the comments down below. But otherwise, as I said, hit the like button if you like it, hit the dislike button if you dislike like it, leave a comment, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video. We're going to be doing a lot more of the Asus Tor apps as well, like the AI download, AI data, um, AI music, um, so if you want to know any more about those, hopefully there'll be either a splash screen or links in the description down below where you can see all those videos. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.